Stick around to find out how to enter this giveaway. Everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's here. Today, we're gonna be talking about the difference between hitting a driver and hitting an iron shot. Now, you've probably heard that it's a completely different swing from a driver to an iron. And while yes, I agree slightly, I would like to dispute that by saying that the setup and the position of the ball is completely different. Because all the clubs are different length, that is really why there is a different swing. Welcome, welcome back. Always so happy to have you and really appreciate your support. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to She Golfs. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification button. We post weekly tips just like this one to help improve your game. So you won't want to miss any of that. So the first club we're going to work on is going to be the driver. Now the driver, now the driver and the iron setup is so different. So let's just talk about the swing velocity. For an iron, we're talking about a downward angle blow. And this is why we have to set the ball more in the back and we have to have more forward shaft lean. Now with the driver, because it is teed up and it's a much longer club, you're really gonna bottom out right before the ball and you're gonna hit the ball on the up swing. That's what it's gonna look like. So you'll go here and then up. So this means we're going to have to tilt more and we're gonna have to put the ball more in front than we would an iron. We're gonna place our ball just inside our left heel. Basically, your feet are gonna be slightly flare and you can just lay your club down and you'll know roughly where you are, okay? And this is so we can hit the ball on the upswing. If we put it here, we're gonna be hitting the ball on the downward angle, okay? And we don't want that. If you are popping your ball, which means that you're hitting the ball above your club base, sometimes you can see little marks. That means you're hitting on the downward angle and we don't want that. The second step is we wanna tilt. So this is where you keep your lower body still and you just tilt your upper body backwards. And this is gonna set you up to hit on the upward angle. So we're here, and you're gonna feel more of an even weight. So think of like 50-50 on your weight. And finally, we're gonna talk about your shaft. So we don't want that much shaft lean because again, we wanna hit it on the upward angle. So a good reference is that you want to point the butt of your club to your belly button for your driver. And as we go into shorter clubs and other irons, you're gonna start to slightly shift it forward. such a baby when it comes to the cold it's not even that cold but it is 55 degrees i mean it's the desert winter i know all you uk people and east coast people must be thinking this girl is so whiny but hey i grew up in taiwan and california so don't judge me so now we're gonna talk about a six iron and how to position that we're just going to put the ball in the middle of the stance. Here, our shaft lean is going to be pretty neutral. So just for reference, let's just have it point just in front of your belly button. So here you're going to catch it more on a neutral angle of attack. So not necessarily up and not necessarily down.
good golfer so I have my Uggs on um, I forgot my golf shoes and I was kind of cold so today's video is brought to you by the go for it ankle sock so the reason why we created the go for it sock is because in each collection we really wanted to give you inspirational phrases that you could take on and off the course so on the course, we really encourage you to go for it, whether it's that pin or it's that green and two, and really just go without hesitation or fear. And off the course, we want you to go for that promotion, go for that girl, go for that career change, and really just do it without fear. All right. So lastly, we're gonna talk about how to position and set up your wedge shots. How you position your wedge shots are exactly opposite of how you position your driver. So because the club is so much shorter and we want a downward angle of attack, we're going to put the ball in the back of the stance and we're going to set up with more shackling. Alright folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope that really cleared up the difference between the driver and the iron shot. Again, this is something that you have to practice on the range to really know what works for you exactly. How much tilt you need, how much ball position you need because all our bodies are different. Again, thank you so much for all your support. Every like, every share, every comment really, really help us and help fund our businesses. Also, feel free to comment down below what areas of the game you're struggling with. And I will make a video on what works best for me and hopefully that will resonate with you. My philosophy throughout my entire playing career was taking bits and pieces of like what really has worked from different instructors and piecing it together to make my own. So you can definitely do the same. Not everything that we talk about is going to work with your swing, but if you can just take bits and pieces and really just put your own twist on it, I really think you'll go a long way in your game. So again, thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so you don't miss a video. And we'll see you next time. Bye.